Hi, I'm Maurice Dubois. We've been following breaking news this afternoon of this pedestrian bridge collapse in Miami. This is at Florida International University. We have been watching rescuers trying to free people trapped in the rubble. Several cars were crushed here underneath. We don't have an exact number just yet, but Highway Patrol is saying several people have been killed. We have an image of what the bridge looked like before. The brand new 950 ton bridge was just installed on Saturday. The pedestrian portion of the bridge was not open to the public yet, and students are on spring break, so that may have the effect of reducing the number of injuries and fatalities here. We will bring you updates throughout the afternoon on our digital platforms and a full report tonight after the game. Also tonight, some of the other news we're following around here, the release on parole of a convicted cop killer. A lot of outrage here at the New York City office of the PBA over the New York State Parole Board granting parole for 70-year-old Herman Bell convicted of killing two police officers back in 1971. They were assassinated only because they wore the blue uniform. No other reason just because they wore blue. What pains me today is that this decision has put a bullseye on every officer that serves this city and this country. Someone can kill an officer of the law and eventually get out of prison. Today, PBA President Patrick Lynch called on hundreds of people to write letters to New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Cuomo is the one who appointed the two members of this parole board that granted this parole. It's a three panel board, so two of the three people have to agree on this. There's also another person that was involved in this killing that is up for parole in June. I'm Jessica Moore. We are out on Long Island in Seaford, Nassau County today, where people are in an uproar over the county executive's plan to stop waiving fees for nonprofit groups who use parks like this one, Washington Avenue Park in Seaford. Little Leagues are one of the hardest hit groups. Here in Seaford, Little League season is supposed to start tomorrow, but the team was just hit with a $16,000 bill. The county executive says Nassau County needs the money and waiving fees for nonprofits is a thing of the past. Not so fast, says legislator Steve Rhodes. He's planning a protest rally here at Washington Avenue Park at 6 o'clock tonight. We are on our way to ask County Executive Laura Curran what was her motivation. We will have the latest updates on CBS2 on air, online, and on our social media channels. Be sure to check back early and often for the latest updates. I'm Tony Aiello at the beautiful and historic Our Lady of Grace Church in Hoboken, where the arrival of this package yesterday caused a bit of a stir. There was no return address, and it was addressed simply to the church, not directly to the pastor, Father Alex Santora. Given the package bombs we've seen in Texas, he was understandably concerned, so he asked the Hoboken police to take a look at the package. They tested it to make sure there was nothing dangerous inside, and then carefully opened it to find this letter and this baby Jesus that belongs clearly to some kind of nativity scene. The letter says that at some point in the 1930s, this baby Jesus was stolen from a display here at the church. It came into the possession of the letter writer's family with very little explanation and has remained in the possession of that family since the 1930s. The sender of the letter, which came from Florida, by the way, said that he or she felt that the, the right thing to do was to return this baby Jesus to the church, and so they sent it here. The father, uh, Santora, says he had never heard anything about a missing baby Jesus. Of course, it is almost 90 years ago when this would have happened, but he's very, very happy to have this back. He thinks it was an act of grace for the person to return this to the church, even under these mysterious circumstances, and come this Christmas time, this is the baby Jesus that will be on display at the nativity that they place near the altar every holiday season.